This lesson is check data using the regular expression annotation. The objectives for this lesson are to use the regular expression attribute to check for a valid email and check for a valid phone number. The regular expression attribute we use to match the entered data against some sort of pattern. For example, we could check for a valid email, a phone, a strong password, a postal code, a social security number, credit card security code. So you may be asking, well, where do I find regular expressions? Well, there's many resources that are available on the internet. For tutorials, I've got a couple listed here. So the regularexpressions.info website is very good for a really easy tutorial. Microsoft also has their own tutorial on regular expressions. And then if you want to get a lot of examples, and I mean there are tons up here, go to regxlib.com. You'll find almost any type of regular expression you could want. To illustrate regular expressions, we're going to add a user class. So let's do that now. Right mouse click on the Entity Classes folder and add a class and we'll give it the name User. Now all I've done inside of here is I have brought in the system.componentmodel.dataannotations namespace. I'm putting the user class within the data annotations samples namespace. And you can see I've got a display over the login ID, I've got a display over the email address, and a display over the phone number. We're going to start with this and then we're going to build on to this class. So you saw that I had an email address property there. Let's add a regular expression attribute on top of this to check for a valid email. So just above the email address, let's add our regular expression in that we can see here. And the first parameter to the regular expression is the pattern that you wish to match. And this is one of the ones that I found on that regexlib.com that will check to ensure that you have all the pieces of a valid email address. And then of course, the error message if we want to display something when it's not valid. And again, if I wanted to, I could also have put the placeholder here to get that display name. Either way is correct. So now what we need to do is let's go back to our program.cs. Let's change out the product entity here and we'll replace this with an instance of a user object. So we're creating a new instance of this user. We're assigning a user ID of one, a login ID to Joe Smith, a password, a confirmed password, and then look at the email address. So test exclamation point test.com. That's going to fail the pattern match because that's not a valid email address. Let's try this out. And you can see it now says the email address entered is not valid. Do you know why you should subscribe to YouTube channels? You'll get notifications when new videos appear. You'll get recommendations for related channels. It helps the channel grow, which allows me to create more videos for you. It helps attract others to my channel. Your like helps others find videos that are good. So please take the time to like and subscribe to my channel, Paul D. Sheriff. Also in the user class, there was a phone number property. So let's add a regular expression attribute to check for a valid phone number that's in a North American format. Go back to the user class and just above the phone number, we'll add another regular expression. So here you can now see that regular expression pattern is passed in as the first parameter. And then I have the error message itself. If we go back to the program.cs, let's change this so that our email doesn't fail this time. But the phone number you can see is clearly invalid because we're looking for numbers there. And it also needs to be in a specific format. And the format that I want is within the parentheses, digit, 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 then a space, then digit, digit, dash, digit, 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 digit. That was not in that format. So we get the failure error message. In this lesson, I pointed you to some resources for finding regular expressions and learning about regular expressions. We use the regular expression attribute to check for a valid email and a valid North American formatted phone number. Now, this isn't the only way to do that. So coming up next, we're going to take a look at the email address annotation, the phone number annotation, which is great because now we don't have to use those regular expressions. Microsoft already built those in. 
Plus, we're going to take a look at URL and credit card.